Do you need to design on a budget? In this video, we're going to show you how, right now, we're going to mimic Mother Nature and replicate Uba Tuba Granite. Have you ever seen that color? It's deep, it's rich. We're going to teach you how to take your old nasty countertops and revive and rejuvenate them from scratch. Stay tuned, enjoy the video. Remember, when you subscribe to our channel, click on the red subscribe button and be sure to ring the bell so you get notified every time we have a new video. Thanks again. In this recipe, we've painted MDF with two coats of paint and primer in one in the color Broadway, which is black. We've sanded in between coats and we're ready to apply the first step. If you're going over old existing countertops like laminate, solid surface, natural stone, Corian, anything that's hard, smooth, and non-porous, that's okay. Just apply bonding primer first. We have a video step-by-step -step on how to roll on our bonding primer like a pro. Go check that out before you go over your old existing surfaces. Let's get started with the Ubatuba recipe. Here's the steps. We're going to start with our metallics. They're mixed with 91% isopropyl alcohol at a ratio of half a bag to eight ounces of alcohol. Shake that up so you mix it and shake it often. This is how we're going to give ourselves some undertones. It gives it depth and makes this Uba Tuba recipe come to life. We're going to spray the edges, we're going to spray the top, and then we're ready for that to dry. It takes about 20 to 30 minutes, maybe even an hour. Just wait, be patient, come back, mix that clear epoxy, trowel it, chop it, and torch it. That's the first steps. After that comes the magic. We're going to spray black spray paint and then we're going to fracture it with those same colors. Rainforest and gold. These magic metallics really disperse well. They're beautiful. The particle size is perfect and it makes you look like a pro. Hey folks, Mitch here, Stone Coat Countertops. If you're enjoying this video and you want to follow along, head on over to StoneCoatCountertops.com. We have tons of different color recipes in many different colors. There's an easy to follow project recipe to fit your style in your kitchen. We teach you many easy epoxy techniques with follow along step-by-step -step directions, pictures, words. We have easy one-click ordering for Uba Tuba Granite and many more exciting colors. Each project recipe has been simplified and we even created a shopping checklist. If Uba Tuba Granite epoxy isn't your flavor, it doesn't matter. Head on over there anyways. We have many colors to choose from. Okay, we're gonna sand with 220 grit on those edges and the surface. I'm going to apply clear alcohol first. That will allow my colored alcohol, the magic metallic alcohol, to dissipate and disperse and not stay in just perfect circles on the base. We're going to rain down rainforest. We're going to spray the edges first. Check how your droplets are coming out. I like that. They're coming out nice and even. I'm going to hit those edges, then the top. It's so pretty. You see where it hits that alcohol that's on the surface and it washes it out. It makes it a little more transparent and then you get some parts that are hard and realistic. All right, time to add our gold. There's gold in them hills. Look at what that does. That gold is just amazing, vibrant. Put a little bit more rainforest on that. Hey, you guys want a pro tip? If you start to get low on your bottles, here's a trick. You can unscrew them because as you tilt it, it wants to really miss from the straw. Tilt it and spray it. You like that trick? Woo! Mix for two minutes, let's do it. Be sure to rub the bottom and the sides of the bucket as you slow that drill down. That's key for a great mixture. Our metallics are dry. That alcohol has dissipated and left our metallics behind. It really reacts well to that undertone paint. It opens up that latex. It bonds really well and we're ready to apply the clear epoxy. But be careful. You've got a beautiful undertone. So don't scratch the surface with your 1 8 by 1 8 square notch trowel. Use that epoxy as lubricant as you spread that out and you look like a professional. Look how clear that is. We mix that with a drill that shows you how as long as you have this at the right temperature, it's not retaining those air bubbles. It just comes right out. Check out how different it looks just with clear epoxy versus our undertones. This is beautiful. I'm cleaning out a brush that I've already used on another sample. I had it soaked in acetone and it's reusable. That's how you can clean your brushes. 
it's time to chop the surface. I'm gonna pre-prime that brush with any of that excess epoxy that I have, and I'm gonna chop it out in a random fashion. I'm gonna overlap those edges so I get a reservoir of material on those edges dripping down. A pro tip and trick and a fun fact. How do you get beautiful edges? You can come back after the curing process has taken place. You can use a little bit of acetone on a gloved hand and rub those edges and it'll feather those out like glass. I'm done chopping, time to brush those edges. Guys, have you seen our other videos and other color recipes? We will overlap technique and just substitute color to create a totally new look. Go check out some of those other recipes to find how you want to match your kitchen. Let's keep going. You can use a heat gun or a torch to pop bubbles. Okay guys, we're gonna spray some black spray paint. It's gonna be a heavy coat because I want that undertone to really work. I'm gonna use a mask because I don't wanna huff in the paint. Another pro tip, whenever you're doing this technique where you're gonna make that granified effect, be sure to act fast. Make sure your bottles are ready to go because the paint will start to really settle in that epoxy. You want it on the surface so it fractures. If you have a big project, you can do this in steps and you'll have plenty of time. I know what you're thinking. You think I've destroyed it. I haven't. Watch this. Oh, I love this color. All right, let's take a little bit of gold here. Just going in those black spots. Don't over hit it with alcohol. You can always do more, but sometimes less is more. And I think I'm done. Holy cow, that's beautiful. Woo, I told you I didn't ruin it. Guys, I love this recipe. I got many more. Go check out our website at stonecoatcountertops.com to learn how to apply epoxy to anything. We are changing the way that you think about remodeling. Call anytime for free project support. Until next time from Stone Coat Countertops, you got this. We'll see you on the next video. Hey guys, if that video is moving a bit too quick for you, then you can always click this link to my left. It takes you to a page that allows you to work at your own pace. You can download it. You can view it as a PDF. This web page has everything you need to get started. All the tools that we used, all the supplies. This website is full of secrets. So we'll see you over there.